Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get back on this Dexter kill knife. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. All right, so as you'll see at the end of this, I already did the tempering cycles on it. That's where all the wild colors are and all that. And I actually tempered this one too, but today I'm doing heat treat. That'll be for the next video. I just wanted to shape all this up, get everything bright and perfect and how we need it and all that good stuff, and then take it from there. Shirts are up on my website, shirts like this, and two others are up on my website along with Amazon links, which are also in the description. My website link is the top one. It's been a while since I've done B-roll, so let's just get to it. Here we go. Oh, face mask. All right, I had to cut two of those bolts and sacrifice them, so. <laughs> but they can still screw out. This looks funky, but I'm about to take about an eighth inch off this. I was like, something just looks weird. <laughs> it's because I used that as a corner, but that's fine. At least it's too big and not too small, so we can come straight down here. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can really see it here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get that done. <laughs> Woo! I was like, man, that looks... Weird. Oh, 
I got the screws that I'm just using the clamp, you know, so it doesn't come apart or anything. I'm just going a little bit at a time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the, the tip. I just don't like how that tip looks, but that's it. Perfect. So, my, oh, there's why. My my tip's a lot longer. <laughs> Take that what you will. <laughs> that's all right. We can shorten that down. No problem. It's always better to be bigger than smaller. Of course, it's not rounded and everything, but it's got a lot of work. But uh, it's almost ready for heat treat. I'm not doing the bevels. I'm going to do the bevels after heat treat because that's so thin. But remember, all these corners are getting rounded, and that's what's throwing me off. I'm looking at it as a finished thing. While I got this standing up, I'm just going to take a little bit more off of here. And then I'm going to flip this sideways and use it to get everything smoothed out. I'll probably have to file and hand sand down this little bit because I can't get a wheel in there so I'm gonna get everything flat and maybe I'll even use the wheel for in here but we'll see I had to go sand these screws down so they're below because it was they were sticking out just a teeny bit, just enough to wobble. So let's go ahead and flip this thing. <laughs> Ooh, way down there. I've been trying, I figured out you, you know you unlock all three of them. Lock it all up. Cause see, I still have to skim some of this off of here because if this is tight, I can't pull this in and out. So pull this out, tighten it. All right, a little bit more in. See, if you watched that video where I installed the VFD, I knew once I, uh, I, I said I never used a flat platen, but uh. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, we're just gonna hit the backs of these, get everything flat and even and all looking good and smooth. Then I'll put the wheel on and hit in here. You can see right here it still needs to hit, so I'm just gonna, this must be a low spot, so we're gonna have to bring everything down to the low spot. Alright, I guess the rest just needs to be, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to hand sand down. I think I'm going to flip it up and take a little bit more out of there. Just right there. The 
rest is heat treating. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, after the heat treat, I'm about to round everything and finish everything off. Well, that's what I need to do. I forgot back here. I'm going to have to back here. <laughs> nah, I'm going to say I should take the handles off it. We'll see. That's weird. I noticed that last time. Hold on. So I noticed that last time when I flipped it from this way to this way with this, I had to loosen this more. So they didn't. It's a little thing. You know, people always ask me about this reader. And it might not be, it might just be this one. But it's a different size this way than it is flipped that way. Because I have to loosen this every time I flip it one way. But that's a minor thing. That's a, who can't flip this? You have to loosen and tighten this anyway. But since people are always asking me, the most annoying is definitely the fact that I can't slide this in and out with this being tightened. But I'm just going to have to take, you know, mark it and then just sand it down a little bit so it slide in there easily. But, you know, that just means two grinders aren't meant to be compatible. But those are little workarounds to make them compatible. I will say one cool thing about this. Everything is made to be turned. I know you're thinking, where are your plates? They're over there. <laughs> so I'm being lazy, but we'll see. I just want to see how uh, interchangeable and stuff. You know, when you get a new grinder, you want to try different things. And I put a few spacers in between here, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. If you watched the last video, I'll put the link up, up here and probably in the description, up in the cards and in the description. So I might have to get some longer bolts. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably put a spacer that's 3 8 thick or something, but we'll see. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's how they want it. But, uh... Uh... <laughs> I gotta stop busting on this knife. I mean, you know, it was someone's creation. It's just where... I don't mean to... I'm not putting it down. I just... I'm not used to something like this. And I guess I'm not used to making other people's knives either, so... <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> She's ready for heat treat. Well, actually, <laughs> I gotta take my ear to. I gotta sand that down a little bit. That's about it. Other than that, she's ready for. Uh, I can actually sand that after heat treat. Cause all this is gonna have to be shaped and hand sanded and stuff like that. All right. <laughs> I spent today, which uh, today's Tuesday, they uploaded the last video. It was bugging me cause in that last video, I made the decision to make the screws on this side of the knife. If you look in the thumbnail of the last video and all that, I put it on that side, but then I Googled the Dexter knife and all that. And you know, the first thing that comes up is this whole pouch of knives. And if you look, it's on this side and the screws are on this side. Now the guy contacted me after watching the video and he's like, you know, if you want to put the screws on both sides, like Green Beetle did, He's like, man, I'd be all right with that. My first instinct was, yeah, as a knife maker, that's the way I wanted to make it. It would take a little bit extra work, 
but I would just have to grind down a pivot. This one I would just have to enlarge and make it like this, and boom, I would have hex nuts on both sides. But then I asked him, I was like, are you sure? As a knife maker, I would prefer the screws on both sides, but as a person that's trying to make a replica, I think I would want to stick to the replica. He, he's like, oh, well, what about these threads? Aren't they going to strip out and stuff like that? And I told him, you know, steel and aluminum aren't that much different. I was like, now if you sit there and bang it and, and beat it to hell, then, and then yeah, you're going to bust those threads. I, I even told him, I was like, I don't see you doing anything with this knife regularly that's going to hurt the knife more than it's going to hurt your hand. Because, man, this... Even with everything rounded, this is an uncomfortable knife. He's like, well, I can wear gloves like in Dexter. It's like, Dexter didn't really stab those people. <laughs> I didn't say it to him. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I would like to see someone try to stab Sue something with this. Because, man, it would cut up your pinky. and uh. Anyway, I digress. So, yeah. Go watch the last video. I'll put the link up here if you want to see how I did these handles. I didn't videotape it. I just did the same thing as I did with this one. I thought I'd put that in there. Once again, my OCD got me and I just couldn't have it. You know, if he wanted the, the screws on both sides, I would have gladly done that, but I had to make sure he knew what he was getting into because if someone looked at it, it was like, well, this isn't a replica. This is some, it would be the same knife. And like I told him, you know, you show this knife with screws on both sides out of a thousand people, maybe one would notice it was different, but that one person would be the one that would call you on it. And, Time for heat treaty. I'm going to take these handles off and then uh, I'm going to normalize these. It's, it's night time, Tuesday night, so I'm going to normalize these tonight. I'm sorry I'm looking here, but I'm keep showing the knives, so I have to flip that back and all that. All right, let's get to wrapping these. I'm going to put them both in one package and normalize them. I don't know what happened to all my gloves. I found like six, I found like six right-handed gloves, but only my fire gloves for the left. It looks like I got to buy some gloves. I mean, the only time I use them is when I'm cutting this stuff out. But like I said, I want to put both of these in one. Let's do it. <laughs> Boom, there we go. I'm just gonna throw it in when it gets up to 1500, watch it for a little bit and yeah. In we go, we're at 1200, so uh, man. By the time I get this wrapped, I, I, I've almost forgot to turn the oven on. So that's why you see that jump cut before me saying, okay, let's wrap this and wrapping it. Cause I came in here and turned the oven on. By the time I had this wrapped with 1200 degrees, all right. I'll be back. I went upstairs for like 25 minutes. I'm glad I came down. It already been kicking for 15 minutes at 1500. I got it coming down to 1300 already, so. Ah. Oh, it's good on the, I, I was wondering how it would be to hold one of these, but man, these are both in together. I was a little worried these homemade tongs wouldn't hold, but man, if it holds each blade or two blades at once, we're good. All right. We're already down to uh, 1290, so whew, that came down fast. So I'll let this sit for five minutes and then, uh, yeah, put her back in. Oven's at 1300, and uh, it's been cooling down about 10 minutes or so. I think it's about 250 or so. I hit it with the gun. Uh, there's all my right gloves. <laughs> there's all my left gloves. It's just going to be what I was last time, me taking it out, letting it dry, and then going to sleep. So, <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow. It'll either be the outro or more heat treating. <laughs> well, that's about it. Got the knife all ready to go. Boom. Both have been tempered. This one I'm actually going to, since it's 1095, but I'm going to do a hormone. I got some of that gum gum like uh, Niels Vandenberg uses from Black Dragon Forge. 
And Alex Steele did a video where he tried it. Should be fun to see. But anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell. I got shirts on my website. It's the first link. There's five knives up there too. Amazon links are down in the description and also on the website. Hope y'all are having a great day. And as always, take it easy.